Welcome to help video number six. This describes the addition of ring mains and socket types. So here we can see our next available spare way. I can double click on it. I can put my reference in. What I can then do is select the way type. So in this case we have standard sockets. We go into the way load details. We can then decide on the socket type, whether we want a 1363, PS196, or 60309-2 type socket. I can then determine the layout where it's a 32 amp ring main, 32 amp radial or a 20 amp radial. In this case we'll apply a 32 amp ring main. As far as the load on the circuit is concerned I could apply the full 32 amps at 100% or I could apply the envisaged way load at 100% or I could put 32 amps in and apply the diversity. So either the loading can be expressed as a full load where a diversity is applied, or I can put the entire load in with no diversity and put the anticipated circuit loading in. I can then apply the number of single, twin, few spurs, clock points and shaver points in this space. Selecting OK allows me to move on to put the entire cable length in with the cable type, the installation method, and the device type. And we can see here that the current the program has automatically taken the view as a default that this is a an unsupervised circuit. We can actually remove the RCD, so if it is a supervised circuit where we have the, or we apply a regulation 411.3.3, if I tick that box, that will remove the RCD implying that it's actually a supervised ring main. I can then view the results. If I want to put another type of socket in, I can then go and select the next available way, put the new references in, decide on the type of socket, in this case special, and then go into the cable details, sorry, the socket details. This is where I can apply my socket type. I can apply the number of sockets and the type of rating. Again, applying the cable length and selecting the device. And here you can see an, an issue reported based on the results of the cable. There will be a separate video covering all instances of general reports, in this case a maximum ZS issue, disconnection, and that will be applied. You can see from the board reference that this dotted line implies there's a problem way as described from the legend. This specific fault will be covered in a further video. Further sockets can be added later on if necessary, and of course the ways can be edited and recall, recalled and edited to suit. Notice the presence of the N reference, again implying the standard device for the board is a C60 Type B. We have two non-standard devices and one RCD.